what's going on? It's Chris Wicks here. Man, it's been a while since I've done a video, huh? Hopefully you got caught up on my other videos. I know I've got like 100, 200 videos of reviews. Thanks to you guys for keeping me going. I do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget, I got that contest at 1,500 subscribers. I'm at like 1,250. So I'm climbing. Thanks so much, Suburban Delinquent, for doing that shout out. That guy's cool. He's got some really awesome motorcycle vids. Um, yeah, check it out if you're into motorcycles. I'll put some links below. As far as it goes today, what are we going to do? We're going to do a four review, and I'll try to keep it real short. But listen, I'm really in love with this company. Alley Cats, have you heard of them? Um, they're brick and mortar, but they also make some fine, excellent juice. In fact, I've done some reviews on their juice. Actually, this is um, the last four that I have to do. I think i got a couple more in the line that I'm missing, but for the most part... I've tried all their line. It's it's a rarity that I get to go over juice that I like, uh, the complete line, and like everything. I haven't had a bad juice from them at all. Not something that's like, eh, that's okay. Everything I've tried from them has been nothing but awesome. I mean, from their taste to their cloud versions. Right now, I wanted to go over a juice I'm real hooked on. This one right now, Twisted Java. All their juice is the Twisted line. They either got these blue cobalt bottles, or if you're looking, they have nice and pink bottles. So we're going to go over the Java. I'm going to go over the Summer, the Palms, and the Crunch. Maybe not in that order. As far as it goes, though, the Java. I've been vaping this all day since this morning. I'm about halfway through the bottle on this Java. Now, why am I into the Java? Well, first off, it smells just like, it smells just like nice coffee just a nice brewed coffee right when I tried it it reminded me of going out to Alaska trying some coffee in the middle of nowhere shop just gives you that morning coffee feel now after you vape it for a while it kicks in that flavor of um, like a caramel and vanilla and cappuccino frappuccino latte amino coffee yeah coffee not just your burnt tire coffee like a lot of juices you taste you find me saying that often this is straight up coffee and it's delicious. I've been vaping it. Actually, it's been holding true at 45 watts on my Sigeli 150. I don't push too hard. Uh, I'm pushing a 7 ohm coil. In case you guys want to see. Let me throw some more juice on here and I'll go over some of the subtle flavorings. Because um, Alley Cats really has a, a good knack for burying some flavors in the subtext. But most of the time, full of flavor. Full of clouds. Uh, let me just show you. I mean, it's kicking out pretty soft, but that's how I like it. Nice and cool. As I draw in and take that second huff, I'm getting that coffee flavor as well as the cream. As I exhale, I'm getting kind of like a caramel, kind of like a vanilla with the milky, sugary um, creaminess. So there's a two end to it. There's the inhale and the exhale. Both flavors are awesome. When you open this bottle and you'll smell it, you'll know what I'm talking about. You'll know what I'm talking about. So Alley Cat's Twisted Line. This is the Twisted Java in three milligram. Um, all their info will be posted below. But as far as juice review goes, I really love their Monster. I didn't bring it out, but I had a huge bottle of Monster, drained that, went through a couple other flavors. Yet again, Alley Cats is paying off with this Java. I'm telling you, I'm real into this line. Really in falling in love with this line. you got to try at least one or two of these juices just to say, Hey, Chris, Chris Wicks, hey, reviewer guy, you know what you're talking about. And I do. I mean, this is good stuff. Uh, price point is on point as far as um, it's not the cheapest juice, but you don't want cheap juice. You want quality. So if you're paying for quality and you get quality, you'll be happy. I know you will. This is the Java. I've been doing, I've been vaping this all day. Look at this. I'm halfway through. That's one thing. When I like a juice, I will vape it till it's gone. And uh, same thing to all the other Alley Cats I've tried. Alley Cat Vapors, you outdid yourself on this Java. I can't believe I haven't tried it until now. Um, finishing up the quad line, doing four reviews in this video. So keep your eye out. So that's the Java. I'm going to move over to the uh, 30 watt that I got from uh, 
Clouds, uh, was it Clouds of Icarus, Clouds of, uh, what was it? Clouds of Olympus. Did I say Clouds of Icarus? Clouds of Olympus. Um, the, the rubber, um, the label rubbed off, so I just threw a nice little Gunter sticker. Kind of looks like a penguin, so I, I like it. Um, I'm going to throw on some palms. Now, I've already got it all juiced up so it can avoid the whole uh, watch me drip my juice here. This is a pomegranate fruity blend. And I know a lot of times you'll get uh, fruity blends that are just kind of a mishmash. This one, for me, smells like grape bubblegum. It's just got that grape bubblegum smell. And I know it's a pomegranate fruity blend, but I'm getting like a grape smell to it. Like a good grape bubblegum. Or like those little candies with the sugar coatings on them. Yeah, I mean, just a real nice fruity blend. But to me, it smells like gum. It smells like grape gum. Now, I'm not pushing... <coughs> excuse me. I'm not pushing the full 30 watts. I always take it down a little bit than what it's actually pushing. So, I have it at 28.5. I usually vape at uh, 45 watts. I know Alley Cat Juice can handle 45 watts because it kicks out with the Java. Right now, just to show you just the um, transition from one device to another, still working strong. Actually, you'll go through a lot less juice if you vape at a lower uh, a lower watts. You can still keep your ohms high. I mean, I have my ohms. This is a half an ohm coil. All my testers I do at half an ohm. Puts out enough vapor for me. And for a 28 watt single battery, No complaints. Like a bubble gum, but it's pomegranate fruit. Uh, pomegranate fruity blend. I'm liking this juice. This is good. So I fell in love with the Java. Even I, not so much a fruity vapor, but this stuff's good. I mean, I'm gonna vape this till it's gone. It just has me coming back for more. Is all. So if you like the fruity type of blend. Go with the pomegranate um, fruity blend. I like it because it's like a bubble gum, like a big league chew, or like a grape bubble gum. No complaints. No complaints. So, um, yeah, that's the palms. Pomegranate palms finally makes sense to me. I'm going to switch over to the uh, summer. Now, the summer is a sweet and juicy watermelon a little sugar dipped like those little round uh those little round candies with the hole in the middle that are kind of gummy that are dipped in sugar um yeah watermelon so how does it smell clean watermelon like any other i mean it's a it's a clean watermelon no chemical taste really sweet i think that's where the sugar is coming from but it, it just smells juicy i mean look at that Half an ohm coil, you guys. Uh, we're going to finish up the review with the crunch. The crunch in just a minute. Consistent flavor, both in on the draw and out of the draw. Um, the Alley Cat's Palms was a little different because it was also a fruity blend, but um, it was more of a bubblegum. This one is actually tasting more of a true fruit to me. Uh, it has that sugary added, that added sugar to it. Um, watermelon and sugar, can't go wrong with that. So, so far, this line, three for three. Of course, the Java's got me, because I like the Java type of flavor. I know I'm cranking out a long video. I'm doing my best to get through it. I know you guys have the little ADD and can't focus too much. Hey, look, a squirrel. But um, 28.5 watts, excellent. Half an ohm. The flavor is there for sure. This juice kicks out at 45 watts, 28 watts, wherever you're at. I mean, this stuff is good stuff. So um, just a little bit to cover for you. That's where I'm at with the juice. I will be going through these bottles with reckless abandon. But without further ado, the pink bottle. We're going to throw on the crunch. It's like a Captain Crunch. Now, the pink bottle had me because I'm like, I don't know if I like pink bottles. 
don't know if I like pink bottles. Blue cobalt, perfect. Even your extra large plastic blue cobalt bottles, awesome for the monster. Really loved it. And uh, my camera battery's running out, so I'll try to get this quick. This is another half an ohm. It's really kicking out strong. This is the Captain Crunch. Now, it smells just like Captain Crunch. When you vape it, you're getting that um, sweet lemon cereal blend. It's hard to get a cereal blend on point. How am I in love with this? Well, nah, it's okay. It's not bad. It's not spot on for my personal taste. It's still a good vape. It's still a cereal vape. It's still very good. But cereal vapes for me are really hard to please my palate with cereal vapes. Because they come out a little citrusy, a little lemony sometimes. For me, I'm tasting like a... So weird, right? It's either like a chocolatey or a peanut butter. So weird, right? Why am I tasting that? Um, when you smell it, it smells perfect. That smells like crunch berries. When I'm vaping it, it's a little different. So as far as consistency from smell to vape, all these other three have it. This one, it's a little fallen short, but it's not bad. I mean, it's good juice. It's just, for me, it's I'm not getting that exact... I know, I know, I'm a harsh critic. But um, four out of four, I like, I love three out of four of these juices, okay? Um, the fourth one, it's not bad. I'm not hating it. I'm not loving it. It's just a little different than what I expected. Okay, that initial taste is going away, but it's still, to me, that same consistency you get with the peanut butter, same consistency you get with, like, a chocolate. I have no idea why my palate's picking that up. Uh, could be the tip. I doubt it, though. Let me change tips. It's not as um, superb with the berry, of the crunch berry. The cr Captain Crunch cereal part, yeah. Um, that's just where I'm at. Although it is creamy with milk, uh, I'm not tasting that dryness, which is why I like it. It's not a dry cereal vape, but definitely a full liquid vape. Anyways, this is Chris Wicks. I appreciate you watching the vid. I'm going to throw this. I have it also in this right here. Uh, what is this? Well, it is my drilled out tobe. I love these tobes, man. Drill them out. They're perfect uh, from Covape. So what I'm going to do is just throw this on here. I've already thrown the juice in here. Just to show you the difference... Because I think out of all the juices, they work fine at 28.5. This one, I think, is a little better at 45 watts. That's where that true cereal is coming out. So I'm getting uh, more of a chocolate, peanut buttery when I'm vaping lower ohms. When I kick it up to higher ohms, it's changing the taste. So I recommend 45 watts or higher with this one just to get the true taste out of it. The rest... Not a problem. Again, Alley Cat Vapors. This is Chris Wicks. I'm doing a four juice review. And I appreciate you watching. I know I've gone on a little bit longer. I'll throw all the information below. Which one did I like the most? The Java. The Java. I would love to think about um, getting a bigger bottle of that Java. But as all four, the Java takes the cake. Um, Tied for second would be these two. Third would be this one. Four for four. All good juices. No complaints. That's where we're at. This is Chris Wicks. Thanks for watching my videos.